While gubernatorial candidates are infamous for bringing the heat to debates, the opposite could be said for candidates for attorney general. Don't expect any fireworks out of this, because um, if you do expect fireworks, you're at the wrong forum. In what was a very agreeable afternoon, incumbent Leonardo Rapatas and Elizabeth Barrett Anderson both stated the position of attorney general should remain an elected one. They also agreed that in-house counsel at Adeloop is necessary, but does come with its share of conflicts. I'd like to see us take the staff and somehow make sure that when that conflicts, when the governor is one on one side of a public interest issue and the attorney general is on, on, on another side, we need to have statutory authorization as well. Who represents the governor? Because I'll tell you, it's not going to be the attorney general anymore. The uh, governor should be able to, but only very, very limited circumstances. We're talking about the, the, this conflict issue again. And you know, sometimes when people talk, talk about conflicts, they, they think it's, you know, again, we go to uh, disagreements. That is not what we're talking about. We're talking about real conflicts of interest. And if uh, there is a conflict of interest, then the Attorney General's role within the government is, is uh, and relationship with, the, with uh, the executive and the legislature is, is much different than the ordinary attorney client position. Now, when it comes to enforceability of the medicinal marijuana initiative also on the ballot this November, both agree there's plenty of work ahead to make it work. We need to work with uh, all of the different agencies. The different agencies have, have admitted themselves, admitted themselves that they're going to have a difficult time um, putting this and implementing this. But it, it's, we will work together with them. My concern is how this commission is going to develop the rules and regulations Enforcement has to be a critical part of those rules and regulations. And in closing, Barrett Anderson says she's the legal architect who helped shape the AGO into what it is today. I'm an architect. That's my passion. I love to build DWI court, juvenile drug court, family violence court, tr new traffic court rules, ADR, and more, more recently the interpreter uh, court interpreter registry program. I love to build... The Attorney General's office you see today is the Attorney General's office I actually built back then, 20 years ago. While Barrett Anderson has built the foundation, Rapata says he wants to bring the office into the future. It's very simple for me. It's not, it is not only about who can do the job as Attorney General, but who will fight for the office's independence. That is something that I, I took on when I started in, in the office. We need to and continue to, to remain independent. It's about who has taken the office and who will take the office of the Attorney General further into the future and not take steps backwards. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.